So not only did we all fail pro Jared, but if you take a look, we are continuing to fail this man. As we all know, commentary channels, news channels, drama channels, they are all designed to help keep other people accountable. But what we're gonna learn about cancel culture is nobody is keeping them accountable. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do, take a look at different things going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, for those of you who are new here, I am very against cancel culture, online hate mobs and mob mentality and all of that. And my brand new book, Cancelled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture is out now where I share my own experience. I also dive into a bunch of other stories such as the situation with Pro Jared and many other YouTubers. And that book is out now in ebook and audiobook format. And you got one more day, 24 hours, to get a free copy of the ebook at my website pinned down in the pinned comment below, as well as in the description. All right, so go grab yourself a copy. But yeah, a um, couple things real quick. Not sure how long this video is gonna be. I have pages upon pages of notes that I'm gonna be reading off of. And I hope my sound quality is getting better. I've had some people comment on it and you've noticed that I've switched my setup. I had some weird issues with my other mic, so I'm using my on-camera mic and I think I adjusted the settings right, so. I hope it's better. Please let me know if my audio is improved. All right, but anyways, let's get started. So as we know, when Pro Jared came back, he basically cleared his name of the most serious allegations out there of people accusing him of being a child predator. The problem is that scores of videos were made about him, and this is gonna have long lasting effects on this guy. The issue that I continue to see with cancel culture is this. These commentary channels are held to no standards at all, and they show little to no remorse. All right, and just to clarify that real quick, like I want you to just compare what commentary channels or any of us channels, even myself, because trust me, I'm gonna be critical of myself in this video too, but just try to compare them to actual news outlets and organizations. I want you to imagine major news outlets running the story of Pro Jared and ask yourself, would they have to print a retraction? Would they have to make an apology? You know, could legal action be taken? All these other things, because this is something that we're constantly seeing, seeing on YouTube where false narratives are being spread. And something else I was, I was thinking about too is, like actual journalists have to use words like allegedly, right? But as we're gonna find out as I go through this video, People don't use language like that. They just throw out whatever the current accusations are and just say them as if they were truth without hearing the other side. But people were getting hundreds of thousands of views, spreading the narrative of Jared being a sexual deviant and a predator. And now these people either are A, they're not updating their stories, or B, have little to no remorse for playing a role in potentially ruining this man's life. And listen, like I said, I am not saying that I am better than any other channel out there. And I really want you guys to answer some questions down in the comments below. I'm trying to figure out, all of us, like what the best methods are when stories get updated or old information you know, we find out that it wasn't exactly true. All right, so we're gonna be discussing that, but let me know your feedback down in the comments below. So personally, when Holly Conrad came out with her side of the story on Twitter, it was clear as day that Heidi, Jared's ex-wife, wasn't telling us everything. So what I did was I removed my previous videos and I updated the story, okay? But, I'm not saying that everybody should remove their old videos because it's this kind of 
damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Like a lot of people will say like, delete your old videos, right? And I'm not, I don't even know if that was the right thing to do. Because when you delete your old videos, like when I was researching for this video, I couldn't find some of the videos that I was gonna reference because they were deleted. You see what I mean? So it's kind of like erasing history in a way, but it's also important to kind of think of it like, there are these old outdated accusations that aren't necessarily true. But as the old saying goes, you can't unring a bell. Now, if you heard about what happened with I'm Alex, one of the main criticisms people recently had with him was that he did not delete his old James Charles video. But if you really look at the commentary community or the drama community, it was just really weird to me because like I mentioned a minute ago, most people do not delete their old videos. So I was confused as to why I'm Alex was getting so much flack about not deleting his old videos even though he updated the story. If you look around, you'll still find to this day many videos about Pro Jared from three months ago when this all happened and those videos are still up. Now, listen very carefully, okay? I choose the, the philosophical principle of charity, all right? AKA giving people the benefit of the doubt. Now, it's possible, it's possible that some of these people are going to update their videos and they just haven't yet, okay? Like it's only been a couple days, so they might update their video. One of the most popular videos about Pro Jared was from the channel Treesicle, but they recently deleted their video and they said this on Twitter. After some thought and careful consideration, the team has taken down our videos on Pro Jared. This was a personal choice we made together after agreeing it was the responsible thing to do understand these things take time. Gut feeling comes first. We still believe Jared made mistakes. However, we don't want to have outdated videos spreading old information and perpetuating a narrative that has changed regarding the worst accusations against him. In complete transparency, this seems the right thing to do. But as I'll discuss later, one of the major issues with cancel culture is it is extremely rare that any outlet will just admit they were flat out wrong. They will still try to save face by saying that they still believe that the accused did wrong things rather than just saying, maybe we got this whole thing wrong. But now that we've talked about deleting videos or not deleting videos, we're gonna talk about people who have updated their videos and I wanna discuss the problems I have with that. So real quick disclaimer, okay? I'm going to be using Review Tech USA and The Quartering. These are two YouTube channels. As examples, I will link their videos down in the description below, all right? I want to say like, this is nothing malicious against them. This is criticisms against them, but I wanna make it perfectly clear. Like when I was doing research today, when this was kind of just like in my mind that I wanted to discuss this, Review Tech USA and The Quartering were just the examples that I happened to stumble across. I guarantee if you looked into this even more, not only would you see way more people doing what I'm about to say these two channels did, but you'll see it with other stories that have nothing to do with Pro Jared, such as with, you know, James Charles or Slazo or a bunch of other situations that have happened this year where people were accused of things and then things like this happen. So just again, real quick, nothing malicious against the quartering or Review Tech USA. I respect both of their channels. I don't always agree with them, but this isn't a direct like, just trying to throw shade at them because it's something that so many people do and I just wanna have a discussion about it. So both the quartering and Review Tech USA made update videos. Now, I never watched their original videos so I thought when they released their new videos that they did a really good job covering the update to this story. But then I got curious and I was like, did they give Pro Jared the benefit of the doubt when they made their initial videos three months ago? And the answer was no. They were exactly what Pro Jared discussed in his video about people spreading the narrative and talking trash about him. The outrage and the response of the internet was formed entirely by misinformation and by using false equality, 
by saying, well, this part is true, therefore, this part must also be true. But people ran with a narrative formed by layers upon layers of accusations without facts. This was perpetuated until it became the truth. But it wasn't the truth. And that didn't matter. It wasn't important if it was true or not. A mob was beating me down, and everyone jumped in on it. Everyone wanted to show that they had the moral high ground by kicking me while I was down. Tweeting memes, clown emojis, and jokes to essentially virtue signal that they are somehow better than me without all the facts, all for the congratulations of anonymous internet strangers. YouTubers that I've never even heard of and who I imagine never heard of me lashed out at me and made jokes at my expense. Some of them harassed me overtly. Others did it subtly. But let's call it what it really is. It's bullying. When you watch both of the first videos made by Review Tech USA and the quartering, like, and you compare the clips to each other, I just want you to think for one second, imagine if these were 24 hours apart and how this would come off, all right? Jared used to have a Tumblr where he used, it was supposed to be a joke, send nudes, ha ha ha, but it wasn't a joke. He really actually wanted nudes and he sent nudes of himself. I had the unfortunate privilege of seeing a couple of them and it's not just one picture. So it's not like one person like that. Maybe he had an intimate relationship was just spreading him out. It's, it's a lot of pictures of Jared with his face and his dong out sending nudes and he wanted to get nudes too. My point being with this is this is it's and he really did his research to make sure he could defend himself. And this is this thing that I and you need to realize every time accusations come out about somebody, whether it be a celebrity or a YouTuber or a musician or whatever the case may be, is that there's two sides to every story and you don't know what someone's true motivations are. And now with social media, it is easy to manipulate the masses into believing something before the facts are put on the table. Uh, Pro Jared has been demodded from his own subreddit. To summarize, Ludes Online, ex-wife roasts you. By the way, in my opinion, a gigantic downgrade in uh, physical appearance, but I don't know either of these women in general, so that's not for me to say. Game Grumps deleted his videos. Uh, YouTube, I mean, he's going to lose 100, 200, 300,000 subscribers in a blink of an eye. His own subreddit. Pro Jared subreddit is actually hilarious. Someone was worried that Jared was a moderator. There would be censorship going on. Subreddit founder replied saying that he had just demodded Jared. <laughs> Your own subreddit disavows you. Not you like pro Jared, which I know many of you may not. I don't have a strong opinion about him one way or the other, but he's very clearly debunked the two most heinous claims against him. Now, the things that his ex-wife has said and this Holly lady... I tend to believe that because he seems to have some loose moral fiber, but uh, I think it's important that you support evidence. And I'm hoping that if you're watching this video, that you leave a like on it and you'll comment on it because, you know, when Pro Jared was canceled, everything was trending. And I think it's important that this video be seen just as much. Again, my biggest issue is that there's no remorse. Commentary channels jump on trending topics, and I'm guilty of this as well to get views. Here's my second issue that may warrant a whole separate video. Whenever someone is accused of something major and is found out to be false, commentary channels try to save face by saying, well, 
This other thing they did was still wrong. Both the quartering and Review Tech USA said this in their new videos. And yes, if you remember me talking about Treesicle earlier, they did the exact same thing. Again, their tweet said this, gut feeling comes first. We still believe Jared made mistakes. Also, the right opinion did this exact same tactic even though he removed his video. The Right Opinion tweeted out, I unlisted the pro Jared video as is something that I haven't been happy with for a while. I don't want that to be a necessary endorsement slash indictment of anyone, but I've been bothered by a few errors for a while and today's video just reminded me of that. I also missed information that I could have presented myself at the time that he presented in today's video. That's bothered me. I don't agree with everything Jared says, but I definitely let myself down. I don't wanna say much more as I'll be talking about in a future vid. So check it out real quick. Like the right opinion, like he admits fault, he admits things that he missed in this. I just want you guys to see the pattern. Whenever somebody's name is cleared, the people who originally reported on the story will be like, I still think they did something wrong. But this ends up hurting the person, or in the pro Jared story, it hurts another person who just got caught in the crossfire. It bums me out that there is so much evidence out there that Heidi and Jared had a polyamorous relationship that went sideways, but people are still harassing Holly Conrad even though there's sufficient evidence that Heidi didn't tell the whole truth. One member of the Treesicle team did make a public apology to both Jared and Holly, and he said this. For Holly Conrad and Pro Jared, with new information not limited to Jared's new video, I would like to formally apologize to both of you. As you're aware, I wrote two videos on you that were made without your input. I'm sorry, I should have tried to reach out to you. I personally and publicly shamed Holly on Twitter. I shouldn't have done that. The support is appreciated though. Sometimes you really gotta say sorry when you mess up. I owe it to people who think I'm a good guy to be that way as best I can. Like, here's the thing. I really hope when Treesicle makes their updated video or when other channels make their updated video that they try, they at least try to investigate the situation with Holly because it really seems like everybody's just kind of pushing Holly to the wayside and she is a human being who was publicly shamed and harassed when it was clearly she just got caught up in this messed up relationship and there's so much evidence out there. Like I just hope, I hope that people aren't like, well, you know, Jared isn't a sexual predator, but let's still say that Holly Conrad was a home wrecker, right? Like there is plenty of evidence out there and I've covered it in previous videos. So I wanna make it clear once again that my intention is not to attack any of these other creators or Review Tech USA or The Quartering. I'm simply using them as examples. You can find hundreds of examples just like this all over the internet with every controversy that's ever happened. One of the reasons that I'm speaking out about this is because this has happened to me and not even at the same scale, but I know what it's like to have this happen. Prim Inc. made two videos about me calling me a fake therapist in the title. He accumulated 569,000 views on one of those videos and 315 thousand views on the other one. And I've had people say, just get over it. The same as people have tried to tell pro Jared to just get over it and move on. It's been five months since this happened. I still have hundreds of thousands of strangers talking trash to me, calling me a liar, right? Threatening me, my family. These are all things that are happening and in Priming's video, there is not one single clip of me ever claiming to be a licensed therapist, all right? False narratives get spread and that label sticks with you. And you know what? Not one person has spoken up for me about this false accusation that was created about me except Karina Fujio. But she only has 160 views. 
So how is that supposed to compete at all with Primink, who has a combined almost 1 million views? Finally, like I said throughout this video, I don't necessarily know what the solution is, all right? Like, do you delete old videos? Do you do the updates? How much remorse should commentary channels have for spreading these types of narratives? Should there be an apology? Like, these are just things that I'm, I'm asking. You know what I mean? Like, it, I'm just curious because I know everybody out there is just watching as spectators, but this is affecting real people's lives. And not everybody, like we saw earlier, like not everybody is apologizing to pro Jared or Holly. And don't get me wrong, I've had people apologize to me who realized that there wasn't sufficient evidence and there was just false accusations about me and things were just being spread as part of this hate mob mentality narrative. You know what I mean? But like, this is something that I'm going to continue to speak up about because as a community, as a society, I feel that we need to do better and not act like these people from centuries ago who were just doing these witch hunts with little to no evidence and just thinking the worst and all these crazy things. Like I want all of us to be better, all right? But anyways, again, don't forget, you got 24 more hours to download a free copy of my book, Canceled, Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, where I take a deep dive into these subjects, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody else who supports the channel in other ways, like buying my books and merch and all that cool stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.